Ladies and Messieurs, in this episode, I want to show you how you can master curve in Photoshop. Bonjour, mesdames and messieurs. My name is Serge Ramilly. I'm a French photographer from the amazing city of Paris, France. And in this episode, I want to show you how to master Curve in Photoshop. Curve is an awesome, powerful tool out there, and you can use it in Photoshop to do so many things. Don't forget to download the source files so you can follow along these tutorials and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So here we go, how to master Curve in Photoshop. All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to try to show you the basic of the curve. Curve is a very powerful tool in Photoshop. And, uh, you know, whether it's Lightroom or Photoshop, there's so many ways to do the same thing. But I'm going to show you how we can do a lot of things with Curve. So here I am in Photoshop. I've used the uh, Photographer uh, workspace here. So I have my layers here. And there is two types of curves. You have the curve that you can pull up here with an adjustment layer, which is the one I advise you to do, or you can go into edit, uh, sorry, image adjustment curve, or press command M, or I believe is control M on the, on, on the windows. But if you do that, it's going to be completely destructive. If you use an adjustment layer, which I advise you to do, it's not going to be destructive. So here is the curve. And so how does the curve works? Well, uh, the best thing to see if you click in the middle and you go up you'll see everything becomes brighter and if you go down everything becomes darker okay now uh, what you see here in the back here is what we call the histogram it's basically the distribution of all the values of the photo between the very dark tones and the very bright tones but i don't want to go too much into theory i want to show you example for example on this one i want to add contrast so i know that all my darkest value is here so if i lower this it's going to make the whole photo darker okay now if i click here it's going to make another point and if i go here it's going to make the whole photo brighter so that's what we call an s curve uh, you can also do it through here you have different preset so if you go to medium contrast you'll see it's going to have a pretty similar shape or increase contrast uh it's going to be a you know different shape there's more points on it but it's still an s curve okay and so what I advise you to do, especially when you start working with Curve, is for every adjustment that you do, uh, so I'm going to go to, uh, for example, uh, Strong Contrast, which is what I was trying to do. Strong Contrast. So this curve, I can rename it Strong Contrast. Okay, and that's what it does. And I could do more things to that curve, but for simplicity, I am going to use another curve. So now I'm going to do a curve for color. So I'm adding another curve and this time instead of using the overall curve I can go here into red green of blue so if I take the reds for example and I click here you see if you go up you can see it adds sort of red magenta I mean red and if you go down it adds green okay up red down green all right so what do I want to do on this one on this one I would like to add some more red and orange in the trees but I don't want to do it necessarily everywhere. So I'm looking at the trees. I like I like that. I like you know what it does here. I don't like what it does on the building. But you see here, there's a mask that comes with the adjustment layer. So it's going to be very easy to adapt. Okay, then I'm going to go to green. And I can go up, see what it does, or go down. I think I want to add a bit more green also with it. I'm only looking at this section here. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the blue. All right, I'm going to go up and down up you see down it's adding a bit of yellow okay so now we've done a whole bunch of things to this and check it out before after i like what it does but it makes the whole photo a little too yellow so i'm going to take a brush by pressing b okay and any tool in photoshop if you press Control and alt you can make it bigger or smaller so i'm going to make a, a big brush i'm going to right click and i'm going to make sure the harness is at zero Okay, now any mask in Photoshop works with white reveals, black conceals, or hide. So it's white, okay? So that means that this curve is completely in full power on the entire photo. Now, black is my foreground color. If it's not, you can press D and X. D for default and X is going to enable you to go from uh, front color to back color. So I want to have the black as a foreground. And now... I'm I don't want to, I like the idea of having a little bit of warm color, 
but it's a little too much. So I'm going to put the opacity of my brush around 20% and I'm going to paint over the building with a 20% black brush. Now a 20% black brush, what it's going to do is as I brush, it's going to, you know, take little by little the warm color that I added there, you see, because I only want it to be um, in the, um, you know, on, on the trees there. Voila, that's a very simple method of uh, using curve. All right, but I want to show you something that's even faster and that's how I usually work. So I'm going to press command A to select all my mask. Make sure you're on the mask here and I'm going to press delete. Okay, so it's deleted now. Command D to undo my selection and press command E. Command E inverts the selection. So you see now this whole curve is invisible. So instead of I can have the mask completely black and now I can go white and I can just bring back and I'm going to put this 100% because I really want the colors and now I can bring the autumn color just there. You see? Good. Um, let's do something about the luminosity. I think the luminosity of this photo is too even. So I'm going to add another curve and this time I'm going to bring the curve down to make the whole photo darker. Okay. And again, I'm going to press command I to invert. And with my brush, I'm just going to brush this value of darkness just here and here to give like a little vignette effect to the photo. Okay, if it's too strong, because it's an adjustment layer, you can just make it lower. So that's just an example. I'm going to show you a lot more examples. So the first curve added contrast, the second added some red here, and the third curve uh, added like a vignette effect. There's so many things you can do with curve. Let me show you another example. Uh, this is a photo that's way underexposed of the Place des Vosges in Paris. So I'm going to make different curve. The first curve I'm going to make is all about just the exposure. So I'm going to make the whole photo brighter. I'm not going to worry about contrast. I'm just making it brighter and I can name that curve. Oh, let me instead of curve one brighter. OK, and then I'm going to make another curve. And that's what I usually do. I do different curves for different things. The next one. I'm going to go and um, just make a little S curve to add contrast. So one adds exposure and the other one adds contrast. And uh, you can see you can really determine how dark you want. And like the, the, the controls that you have, you know, you have to get used to it, but it's pretty impressive, you know. And so I want to show you a really cool tool. You have this tool here. If I click on it, let's say I find that this tree is too dark, I can click and go up or down and you see it's making that tree a little brighter but i don't like what it's doing on the entire photo but i could go click here go up and down or click here go up and down and it's basically creating a point and trying to make click on the you know make this uh the the, the green the grass brighter or darker if you want to start over you can just press here to reset and uh so that's another cool way to do it but for example what i would do on this one is i would go like this and like this to make an S curve. So I have some good contrast. Okay. But now I find that the tree is too dark. So I could make a curve just for the tree. So I make a curve. I use this tool here. Okay. To uh, basically make the tree just a little bit brighter. Okay. And maybe we can add some uh, warmth to uh, the tree or no. Okay. Let's, let's just make this brighter for now. But you see, it did it everywhere. So command I to invert. And now I can take a brush, make sure it's white, make sure it's always the opposite of the mask. And I can just brush in there just to add a bit of detail, you know, of the tree. Uh, if I wanted to. Okay, it's a little bit washed out. I can just lower the opacity of that whole layer. You know, but on the print, it might it might make a difference. Now, let's say I want to add more red and more brightness to the to the leaf. So again, let's add a, another curve, and uh, you know, and you should name your curve as what you do. So I'm only looking at the leaf. This one, I'm gonna make it. I want to make it add more red. Let's go to the green. If you, remember, if you don't know what it, what a curve does, you just you just move it around. So I'm only looking here. That's good, and blue. Okay, maybe just like this. I think I want to go back on the basic RGB and make it even brighter. Yeah, I want to get, you know, I want to bring some light to this leaf there. So again, command I and uh, again, the brush and I'm brushing this just on the leaf 
and and the leaf now looks a little more alive okay and i don't like what it does here on the on the tree tail so i can press x and i can just but you know uh and it's going to invert my mask and voila and i'm just bringing back some of this tree there now i feel that this photo really could have some more awesome color so okay let's go and let's do an overall curve uh, just for the autumn color and you just can pile them up and pile them up and sometimes I do a lot and uh, But the power I mean, this is how we used to do uh, before Lightroom This is how we used to do a lot of corrections using curve and I feel I still think it's a powerful tool. like sometimes the result that I'm getting with with a curve is Actually better than what I'm getting in Lightroom. So this one uh, I added a bit of you know warmth to this whole photo and uh, so they are, you know, either local or global. All right, now let me show you another example of the use of the curve. Uh, this is um, my good friend Calvin that I, I shot with some flash against a wall, and here is he's masked out, and this is a background I want to put him over. So I'm gonna go here, and by the way, all these files I'm giving you for you to, to practice with. I'm gonna use the move tool, and I'm gonna put him over this file here. Okay, but he doesn't match at all. Okay, let me zoom out. He doesn't match at all because he's much brighter and much cooler than the rest. Okay, so now I want to show you a trick. I'm going to make a curve. And the, the first adjustment that I want to make is about the brightness. Okay, but you see now it's, it's because the curve is on top of it, it's making everything, you know, under um, all my layers brighter or darker. Now, you see here, this, if I press this, it's gonna make, uh, it's gonna only affect the, it's gonna put a little arrow there and it's only gonna affect this layer. So now when I make him brighter or darker because he's got a mask on, only him goes brighter, okay? So boom, voila. And now um, I wanna make, I wanna make another adjustment. He's too, he's too warm. So I'm gonna make another curve, okay? And this curve, I'm going to click on this so they didn't only influence we get a little error only influence him and now I'm gonna go into the colors and maybe add no not it's not so much the red it looks like he's it's more the yellow okay you just play around and until you get something that you like yeah let's see here you yeah that's more like it that's more the yellow but I still think he's too bright so you can always go back on that curve and just make him darker again and uh, to sell the photo even more, I always like to make a, a global adjustment. So without that little arrow, just a little global uh, adjustment. Voila. And uh, so I'm going to go and go into medium contrast, for example. Uh, no, that's too much. I'm going to so I'm going to make this brighter. And I think I want to go into the color and give like a little color cast to this whole photo. So he kind of looks cool. So now he looks a lot more than if he was, you know, in this photo. It works really well. It's actually one of my favorite portrait. And, you know, then I added the smoke and uh, I have a whole course on this. I hope that really uh, helped you understand Curve better. Download this example, try it, and, you know, Curve is infinite what you can do with it. I just want to give you a good introduction to Curve. I hope you're going to enjoy it and have fun retouching your photos, guys. All right, guys, I hope you like these examples. Don't forget to download the source file so you can follow along and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you in another episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.